For centuries, London has struggled with sewage management. In the 1850s, the city experienced a major public health crisis, known as the Great Stink, due to raw sewage overflowing into the River Thames. In response, civil engineer Joseph Bazalgette designed London's original sewer system in the 1860s. This revolutionary system helped clean up the Thames and allowed London's population to boom without sewage issues. However, Bazalgette designed the sewers for a population of 4 million people. Today, London has over 9 million residents, putting a massive strain on the dated system. Currently, up to 44 million tons of untreated sewage and rainwater overflow into the Thames each year due to the sewers being overwhelmed. This causes major environmental and public health issues in the heart of London. It became clear a new solution was needed to bring London's sewage management into the 21st century. To address London's sewage woes, Thames Water and the national government have partnered to deliver the ambitious Thames Tideway Tunnel project. Costing over four billion pounds, the Thames Tideway Tunnel will be the largest infrastructure project ever undertaken by the UK water industry. This 25 kilometer sewer, super sewer, will run approximately 70 meters beneath the River Thames, intercepting 34 of the most polluting combined sewer overflows that currently discharge into the river. It will prevent the tens of millions of tons of untreated sewage entering the Thames every year from overflow events after storms. Rather than discharging into the river, flows will be transferred via the new tunnel to the Lee Tunnel, another recent underground sewer project connecting to the Beckton Sewage Treatment Works in East London. There, the sewage will be treated to modern standards before being released downstream into the Thames estuary. The immense tunnel has been designed with the capacity to accommodate London's growth for the next 100 plus years. Engineers calculate it will reduce sewer overflows into the Thames by 95% on completion. And by the year 2100, it will have captured 27 million tons of sewage that otherwise would have polluted the river. The super sewer gained development approval in 2014 after years of analysis, planning and public consultation by Thames Water and the UK government. Construction on the ambitious mega project finally commenced in 2016. In 2018, six massive tunnel boring machines were lowered into specially constructed shafts to begin drilling the main tunnel. Despite some delays due to COVID-19, tunneling operations finished in early 2022. The tunnel is scheduled to be entirely complete and operational by 2025. The Thames Tideway Tunnel is an engineering marvel that will prevent the tens of millions of tons of pollution currently spoiling the River Thames each year. While upgrading Bazalgette's 19th century sewers took time, coordination, and billions of pounds, the super sewer will be a transformative investment securing London's environment and public health for the future. The Thames Tideway Tunnel comes with an enormous price tag. Construction costs are estimated at around $5 billion dollars. However, analysts estimate the tunnel will bring 7 to 12 billion dollars in environmental and public health benefits to London over its 120 year design life. Bezeljet Tunnel Limited, BTL, a private infrastructure consortium, was granted a license to finance, build, maintain and operate the tunnel until the year 2145. Major construction on the project began in 2016, with tunneling operations commencing in 2018. Despite some delays due to COVID-19, BTL states the tunnel is on schedule to be operational by 2025. Constructing a 16-mile sewer tunnel 70 meters underground through centuries of crisscrossing subterranean infrastructure is an immense engineering challenge. Construction requires four 7.2M wide tunnel boring machines, TBMs, to excavate the 25 kilometer tunnel. Two smaller 3.8M TBMs are drilling auxiliary connection tunnels. The main tunnel begins 30 meters below ground level at Acton in West London. It continues east under the city center, gradually descending to a maximum depth of 70 meters below ground at Abbey Mills in East London, where it connects to the Lee Tunnel leading to the Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. Along the route, it intercepts 34 major combined sewer overflow points that currently 
spill into the Thames. Innovative tunneling techniques allow construction to take place with minimal surface disruption. The tunnel itself is made up of precast concrete segments fixed together as the TBMs drive forward. Excavated material is transported out of the tunnel and along the river by barge, keeping lorries off London's congested streets. In addition to cleaning up the Thames, developers have committed to delivering environmental enhancements across London. Trees removed for construction are replaced at a two to one ratio, while new public parks built above the buried tunnel will create over three acres of new public space. The project sponsors river cleanups and conservation initiatives. It is estimated they have already removed over 100,000 plastic bottles from the Thames. When complete, the super sewer will dramatically cut sewage-related litter in the river and lower health risks for people enjoying London's iconic waterfront. The Thames Tideway Tunnel represents a new chapter in the story of London's sewage infrastructure. Bazalgette's original 19th century sewers transformed the Thames from an open sewer into the vibrant heart of London. Now the 21st century super sewer will replumb Bazalgette's system to serve London for the next 100 plus years. This forward thinking and sustainable project signifies how proactive infrastructure investment can prepare great cities like London for growth and keep them livable for future generations. When it opens in 2025, the super sewer will be a crucial piece of infrastructure, ensuring London retains its status as a world leading metropolis for the 21st century and beyond. However, as with any major infrastructure project, the Thames Tideway Tunnel has also faced criticism and opposition. Much of this focuses on the project's enormous price tag, which will ultimately be paid for by London taxpayers and ratepayers. Critics argue such a massive investment in old sewerage technology like tunnels and pumps represents outdated thinking. Some claim a more sustainable, green solution focused on capturing rainwater before it enters the sewers would have been cheaper and more effective. They advocate for implementing green infrastructure across London like permeable pavements, underground storage tanks, green roofs, and rain gardens. This would allow more water to infiltrate into the ground rather than overloading the sewers during storms. Additionally, concerns have been raised about the environmental impacts and disruption from the tunnel's construction. Engineers counter that they are using innovative techniques to minimize noise, traffic congestion, carbon emissions, and other impacts as much as possible. In the end, Thames Water and local officials chose to pursue the Thames Tideway Tunnel after extensive analysis of the costs, benefits, and feasibility of various options. They acknowledge it is an expensive endeavor, but argue it is the most reliable and effective solution to addressing London's sewage woes for the next 100 plus years. This project exemplifies the difficult decisions cities must make when planning such major infrastructure investments. With costs and impacts so high, no solution will satisfy everyone. But London is banking on the super sewer being the best long-term decision to safeguard public health and the environment as the city continues to grow. Building an immense sewer tunnel under a bustling city requires innovative construction techniques. The Thames Tideway Tunnel is being excavated by specially designed tunnel boring machines, TBMs. These high-tech machines can tunnel through difficult geology with minimal disturbance at the surface. The 150-meter-long TBMs use state-of-the-art engineering, like real-time optimization systems, laser guidance, and computerized controls. They apply 19,000 tons of force to effortlessly bore through London clay and other challenging soils. Segmented concrete rings are installed to form the tunnel walls as they burrow forward at up to 250 meters per week. Ingenious Logistics plans to transport a million tons of tunnel waste out and construction supplies in via river barge instead of disrupting traffic with construction lorries in congested London streets. Advanced software integrates planning and monitoring across the vast project's many 
concurrent construction sites. At its core, the Thames Tideway Tunnel is an investment in the future livability of London. While the capital cost is massive, the public health and environmental benefits to be gained are even greater. The tunnel will allow London to grow and thrive without further polluting the River Thames, the lifeblood of the city. It provides a sustainable way to boost sewage capacity for the development of new housing, business, and infrastructure. London's population is projected to reach 10 million by 2030. Without the super sewer, Bazalgette's aging system would be at risk of overflowing into streets and homes. By modernizing sewage management, the tunnel will keep London clean and comfortable as it continues growing into a global megacity. The Thames Tideway Tunnel takes a century-long view of infrastructure planning. It was designed not just for London's current needs, but to supply the larger and denser city of the future. Cities require a proactive and visionary approach to stay ahead of evolving demands. London learned this lesson during the Great Stink, when a lack of foresight about sewage plagued the city with disease. With the super sewer, London is getting ahead of potential problems and thinking generations into the future. Such grand scale projects demand tremendous coordination, technical abilities, and funding commitment. However, the long lifespan of infrastructure like the Tideway Tunnel makes the investment worthwhile, allowing cities to shape themselves sustainably for the next 100 plus years of change. The sheer scale of the Thames Tideway Tunnel is difficult to comprehend. 25 kilometers of cavernous subterranean pipe wide enough for two buses, silently whisking London sewage to treatment so the bustling city above remains clean and healthy. It represents the pinnacle of modern civil engineering capabilities. When complete, this hidden mega project will be one of London's greatest modern marvels, ensuring the city can continue booming into the future. The super sewer signifies how creative infrastructure can help growing cities thrive.